I'm Brittany. And I'm Abby. And this, this is, is BA Beauty. Beauty. Today we're going to talk about our go-to makeup products. So next we have eyeshadow primers and we are actually the same again. Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. This is really great. I've been using a small brush to like put this over my lid and it's really been setting it. I hadn't been a big believer in this um, but I really like this and I also use my concealer when I'm not using a regular eyeshadow primer. I was going to say, I just go in pretty, uh, pretty basic with it and just pat it on my eyelid and smooth that out and then, uh, go in with my eyeshadows just to, I, on a day to day when I do my makeup for like work, I don't really wear eyeshadow, but you know, for the like going out, I do use a primer and it, you know, intensifies the shadows and just makes you have a good base for them. All right. And next we have eyeshadows. Normally I wouldn't be excited about this, but all of a sudden I've become quite obsessed and I think it's mainly due to this guy right here, the Tarlet in Bloom by, of course, Tarte. This is such a beautiful palette. I use this almost every day. You can tell because it's filthy and oh my god, it's just... Can we just say, like, it's beautiful. It is beautiful and I get compliments on this all the time. And I also have another palette. I can't just pick one color. I mean, come on. Um, I have the Balm um, Nude Dude Volume 2 palette. This thing is gorgeous as well. It's kind of along the same lines of the Tarlet and Bloom. Um, these colors are amazing. I'm obsessed with the Faithful Fit and Flirty for the shimmery shades. And I also love um, Feisty and Friendly for the matte shades. They're beautiful and they work together so amazingly. I've used these on a few friends and they just love them. And of course I love them with myself. Obsessed. The balm is amazing. And then for my eyeshadows, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Self Made Palette. And this is one of the ones that I just go to. I really love all the colors. Um, I like how you have a matte brown and I love this buttery color. Um, I love these shiver ones. I feel like they're super pretty. And then I really like this green and then this kind of orangey color. I feel like they all really work well together and I just, um, I feel like there's a nice diversity of colors too so that you can do different looks. And then I also have, um, I want to say this is my little Sephora Z palette and I have Makeup Geek shadows in it and I really love Makeup Geek shadows because they're affordable and I love that you can just pick out your own colors and kind of custom make your palette um, based on what you like and I just, this one, this guy's not even full but uh, <laughs> here's just some of the colors that I like. Um, I have like a matte brown and then this really pretty burgundy color and then um I have this shade here and I kind of use it to highlight a little um that's Mirage and a gold and then Shimmer Shimmer a shimmer that's like super pretty and pigmented I don't know if you can see that um and then also oh, this is a shimmer and it's like this really pretty bronzy color so that's just some of the eyeshadows that um, I have in this small palette that I kind of would just pick this out and use a couple of them on a daily basis if I'm wearing eyeshadow. Alright, and now for eyeliner, one of our favorite products. Um, I am obsessed with ColourPop Gel Liner in Swerve. This thing is amazing. I love the payoff and I love how it looks on the eye. It's pretty easy to work with. You just want to make sure your brush is good and it's clean. I ran into that mistake right there. And also, I love my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And I think you have the same one. I do. Kat Von D, man. I was going to say. She's just working for us. I was going to say, I feel like that's a theme yeah. so far of our video is we picked our products out separately and then yeah. when we get here we both have a lot of the same stuff and mm. Kat Von D stuff. I just think that's funny because like our skin is so different and our coloring is different but yet she's coming through for us. Right? I feel like the payoff on this is really good and it glides on really easy so that's why it's one of my go-to is 
Um, you know, I want an eyeliner that if it's my go-to that I can just whip on. Yeah. It's easy. It's pigmented. So that's why I got her. And then I, I, ha I might have an obsession with an eyeliner. So, and no. then, um, that's a felt tip eyeliner and I usually use that on the top, but on the bottom, um, I'm more of like a cream or a pencil. So I have the Stila Stay All Day eyeliner and it has really good pigment and it glides on. And then for an eyeliner that's drugstore, I have the Maybelline Eye Studio eyeliner. And just like you had your pot eyeliner, um, I really like this. I feel like it's creamy and pigmented and like you said with the brush for whatever reason, um, for like my lower lash line, I really like to use a brush and it just glides on. And then I have uh, this guy, this random beat up guy <laughs> that I got in my Ipsy bag and I use him a lot and I don't even know what it is. Thank you Ipsy though because <laughs> It's a lot like the Kat Von D. It's very pigmented and it just glides on and gives you like um, just a really good line. And again, oh, I don't know yeah. if you can see how dark that is. It's felt. So, yep, there it is. So, wish I could tell you what it is, but now I will just Amazing. Be it's amazing. <laughs> My heart is hurting so bad because the mystery can never be solved. What are we gonna do? I don't know. All right, and now we have mascara. And mascara is really tricky for me because I've mentioned this before, blonde, short, thin lashes. So for me to like a mascara, that's saying something. I got this mascara first as a sample and I had to go buy it. Um, I think it's still like the deluxe sample size, but it is bigger. Um, this is the Urban Decay Perversion. Oh my word, um, it makes it look like I have lashes. It, it definitely lifts them, makes them look longer and fuller and um, black. <laughs> that's my number one thing right there. You can actually tell I have lashes when I wear this, so that's a big deal. The only drawback on this, it is a really wet formula, so you have to be really careful to apply thin and kind of build up to what you like, and then let it dry. Don't be messing around with anything. Don't be sneezing. We see, we see, don't be sneezing. And also, another sample I got that I loved, um, Makeup Forever Excessive Lash. Love it. I go for both of these. I just grab whatever's closest most of the time, and so it's one of these always, and I love them both equally. Again, gives me lashes, makes them stand out. Obsessed, because I do not use a curling, uh, a lash curler, so... Yes. Alright, and then for my mascaras, I have the It Cosmetics uh, Tight Line Mascara. And this little guy is, um, he's so small, I don't know if you can see that. Zoom in. <laughs> um, but this is what I like to use for my lower lash line because it's so small to get right in there. And then also, sometimes I use it on my upper lashes to get right up against, um, my eye and my next go-to mascara is this Helen Colors that um, it's really sweet my boyfriend's mom actually picked up for me and just gave me and I fell in love with it when I used it this really thick applicator and it really coats your lashes very well and um, it gives them kind of a curl and um, I believe that she got it from GNC. It says GNC on it. <laughs> but also it has um, some Spanish on it that I can't read. So, um, but this is um, the mascara that on a daily basis that I grab. And I've tried this as well and it's really good. And if I was near GNC, I'd go pick it up. So that says something there too. Mm -hmm. Alright, and now we're moving on to brow products. This is where I struggle the most. Um, I definitely have to put in some practice when it comes to brows. And again, light blonde brows. Half of them disappear in pictures. I have to darken them up. And I've noticed that even um, while I've been darkening them for filming, they still look really light to me at least. Um, but my go-to drugstore is the Maybelline uh, Brow Drama in clear just to set for like maybe an o every day. Um, I'm not absolutely in love with this. Um, it's just because it's cheaper and it will kind of clean them up. Um, I don't think it lasts very long for me anyway, but it's good for just a quick fix. But when it comes to high-end benefit, benefit has just got my heart. 
I've got the Ready Set Brow, the Clear Setting Brow um, Gel. I've got the Precisely My Brow Pencil, which is um, definitely a thinner pencil. I don't know if you can see that very well, um, but I got this in my lighter shade, so when I'm not filming or taking pictures, I'll fill my brows in with this. And it's got the Great Spoolie at the end, so you can really work the product in. But um, I really love this pencil. Um, it's the Goof Proof um, Brow Pencil. And this is in color 3. I went a little darker for this one. I love the applicator because you can use both ends to get a different look. Um, hoping you can see it there. It also has a spoolie on the other end. And again, for maybe days where I don't want to use a pencil, I'll use some Gimme Brow. And this is in color 1. It's just blonde kind of fills it in. It's, um, again, not a, not a, I use this on a day where I'm not filming pictures, anything. I just kind of want them to appear fuller or like they're not completely gone. <laughs> Alright, and then for my brows, I have, um, unlike Brittany, I have pretty dark brows. Sometimes I look at them and I think the color of my brows is actually darker than my hair. Like, they're pretty black brown. Um, but I do have the same problem where over here on the end it's like really thin and sparse and when I take pictures I I know when I was younger I used to take pictures and be like oh man my brow stops like right there <laughs> and, and then came the world of filling your brows so um I have a drugstore this is the Maybelline Brow Define Fill Duo um it's just a little pencil um I have it in like a black brown kind of color um, it is kind of cool too, and then it has a cute little cap, but it has this little smudger end that I don't really use. I just, you know, kind of fill them in here. And then for a higher end product, I have the Laurel Geller. Um, it's just like an eyebrow powder, and it comes with this little brush with a little angled brush. And it's pretty stiff and then a little spoolie. And the thing that I like about this um, for every day is when you're, you know, on the go and you're busy, a powder I feel like is the easiest. Just kind of fill in the area that's sparse and um, you're good to go. Like you don't really have to worry about shaping or anything. I just kind of fill some powder in and then they're um, way more pronounced and I'm good to go. All right, moving on to setting sprays. We are the same again. Um, I have a higher end is the Max Studio Fix Plus Spray. Um, I really like it for setting. I like that it kind of gives you... Um, it kind of blends in the powders. I was going to say, like it blends everything in. It gives you kind of a little dewy look. Mm -hmm. I'm big on the dewiness. Um, also, honorable mention... Uh, it might be number one except for the price. I really like the Tatcha Dewy Luminous Skin Spray. Um, I had a little baby one that I got, and I really like that, but it's um, it's way more expensive. I feel like it's like twice as much as this, mm -hmm. and it's smaller. So that's why the MAC um, Fix Plus came in number one. And I really love my MAC Fix Plus for my eyeshadows. Um, it really intensifies them, so... This is a multi-use product, and I have it in a travel because I um, move around a lot and take my makeup with me. And I also have the big one, like Abby, for it to keep it home. So this is a great product to have. I'm glad I finally sucked it up and did buy it. <laughs> and our next one is NYX Matte Finish uh, Spray. And this is probably one of my favorite sprays ever. And I know this is more of our go-to video, but this is probably works better for me than the Urban Decay sprays. Um, I like to keep my finish matte, um, like I was mentioning earlier, I do have an oily T-zone. So this is my best friend. <laughs> um, the price point is fantastic. I think it's like $7.99. And now they sell them at Walmart, Target, um, Ulta. You can get them in so many more places. I used to have to go all the way to Ulta to get it, and it was totally worth it. Now I can get it at Walmart. So, fantastic. It's almost out. It looks beat up. Because it's amazing. Also, I feel like it's really good for when you say you like the more matte look. Um, sometimes, you know, I tend to like a dewy look, but sometimes when you're, I feel like you're going out all night, 
um, you want a matte look um, because you just want to, for pictures, you know, you don't want to look too luminous and shiny because people then think you're just, you're sweaty. sweaty. So, and um, I feel like a matte kind of helps it set better and stay longer. All right, and now we're on to lips. I got this as a sample from Sephora and I fell in love with this. It's the Fresh Sugar Rosé. It's a lip treatment, um, oh my word, it's got sunscreen SPF uh, 15 in here. It smells amazing. I'll go to bed with this on and wake up and I still feel it on there. It doesn't just soak right in and your lips feel really hydrated after. And this is what I wear before I put on a matte lipstick just so I don't feel so dried out. Otherwise, it's really uncomfortable. And also, my obsession, if you know me, you know that I'm obsessed with these baby lips. These are my two go-to. Um, I am obsessed with the peach because I'm all about peach. And I have the regular, just clear baby lips. Dirty, don't judge me. Um, these are amazing. They also have SPF uh, 20 in these. Sometimes I'll swipe these on before I put on a matte lipstick as well. And then my last one, I have Burt's Bees um, Lip Shine. I feel like this gives me a nice moisture, and I never used to like lip glosses so much, but this one is really nice, just an everyday. I throw this in my purse, along with my baby lips. I like options. Um, this is great, and this is in the color Peachy. And then for my go-to um, kind of lip moisturizers, I have also the baby lips, and I also, it's in the peach color, which, um... It's kind of like a pinky, like a yeah. light pink, and I really love this because I tend to have dry lips, and um, you can just throw it in your purse and put it on, and it gives you like a light wash of color, and it's moisturizing, so I, I always have one of these. I have one in my purse, I have one in my makeup, I have one in my, just hanging out in my car. And then another drugstore one that's really good for moisturizing your lips is the Aquaphor Lip Repair, and um, it's really, really good hydrating intense um i feel like it's kind of like maybe carmex but not that menthol-y um, tingly it's just really thick and hydrating and then i would say that it's a um this is really beat up and um <laughs> it's been used and it's empty but the bite beauty agave um oh. lip treatment uh i put this on at night and I feel like it just really moisturizes your lips during the night and a lot of times in the morning you wake up and it's still it's still on there and it's really thick um also this is this little guy I got in a like a this is actually the sample size I got last year in a little kit that came with a scrub and this little one lasted me over a year so um the big size is bigger it is a little bit more pricey but I almost say that it's worth it because I feel like the big one would last you forever yeah forever <laughs> I'm obsessed with the Too Faced melted matte lipsticks I have two here I love these two colors um child star and cool girl these I would wear every day if I could um they don't need a lip liner but if you pair it with it gives you that little bit of extra oomph to your lips they're long lasting, definitely worth the price. Um, I love uh, Cool Girl because it's like that 90s color that's really in right now and I'm obsessed with it. And the Child Star is a really cool pink and I stole it from Abby. She wanted it. I took the last one. It's amazing. You did. Um, I have to mention these. I feel like these don't get enough love. Um, I love the NYX uh, Lip Lingerie. Um, this is not my favorite color. This is corset, but, um, this is the one I want. This is my favorite one. Um, this is Bedtime Flirt, and this is an amazing product for the price point, and I feel like it always makes my lips look plump and pretty, and it's like that perfect pinky nude. And so this is always in my purse. And also, uh, for my lip products, no surprise here, an another one that we have the same. I also have the NYX um, lingerie. And the thing that I really loved about these and this line, I feel like it was all kind of um, 
neutrals and nudes and it had a lot of light pinks and um, I was in search of a liquid lipstick that was a light pink but not super light um, so that's why I really like these and it's I like the moussey texture mm. of it and I don't find that it dries my lips out do you no it dries down but it's not like Kat Von D where it dries you out and it's almost uncomfortable this is very comfortable so and like you said for the price um, it's a really good price point. I think these are around seven bucks a piece. Yeah, I think so. So, um, there's the NYX lingerie. And then I also have, um, I have Dosa Colors in Stone. <laughs> and this is just like my everyday, kind of like a neutral for me that I really, I feel is really beautiful. And I just, um, if I'm getting ready in a hurry, I just throw it on. Oh, it's... Maybe the NYX is a little pinker. Oh, yeah. They're pretty similar. I'm going to say so. Yep, they're stone. Um, I feel like, yeah, it's kind of a cool pinky mauve. Um, it's it, really pretty. I was going to say, and it's, like, pretty dark, so it um, it doesn't really wash you out or fade into your skin. And that kind of leads me to my next one is, um, I actually have two. I couldn't find it, but I have the... Anastasia Beverly Hills in Pure Hollywood. Mm. I really love how that looks on me. It's like a pinky. It's a little bit lighter than this. And I feel like it's just a really pretty pink. But it's not too light. Um, and then the other one that I have is... Um, this is Colourpop. Their liquid lipstick. And it's in Midi. And um, this is what I would use more day to day. As... Um, to me, it's a dupe for the Anastasia in Pure Hollywood. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Let's see. Get a good, nice, good swatch there. I don't know if you can see there. And again, it's like a light pink that's kind of cool tone with a little bit of, like, mauve -y. So, those are my go-to um, lipsticks that, like, I just, if I don't really know what I'm going to wear, I just gravitate towards these. It's going to go with everything. <laughs> A deer in the headlight. I'm starstruck by myself. <laughs>